Everything you need to know before Season 6 in 6 minutes. In a world where 80% of the population has quirks, we meet Izuka Midoriya, aka Deku, who has none. Izuka gets attacked by a villain and is miraculously saved by the number one hero, All Might. Then, Izuku accidentally learns All Might's secret and is quickly told to give up on being a hero, which is immediately reversed upon witnessing Izuku bravely save a childhood friend and bully Bakugo. Training montage, mouthful of hair, and an entrance exam later, Deku is now the new proud owner of One For All and a student of UA High, the number one hero school. Deku meets his classmates and best teacher, Aizawa. Quick quirk test and costume change, then we go right into some heroes versus villains roleplay or, uh, training exercises as they call it. Deku puts Bakugo in his place for the first time, Ida and Momo become class president and vice president, field trip training exercise, except this time the evil League of Villains invades with their leader Shigaraki, whose one and only goal is to kill All Might. The students are forced to defend themselves, and when all hope seems lost, All Might appears. All Might goes plus ultra and destroys Nomu. Shigaraki is shot in the leg, because why not, and is forced to retreat. And it turns out, Shigaraki might not be the leader after all. Season 2. Sports festival time, the whole school is involved, class 1A dominates round 1, Todoroki wins cavalry round that it's 1v1 time. Shinzo Mind Controls Deku, Todoroki has a dark past and was abused by his father, aka number 2 hero Endeavor, we find out Bakugo has a heart, Deku vs Todoroki happens, which, chef's kiss, and Bakugo is crowned the victor against his own will. Quick vibe check as Ida finds out his brother's been permanently paralyzed by hero killer Stain. The kids pick their hero names and then it's internship time. Bakugo meets best genius, Todoroki trains with his dad, and Deku trains with All Might's old mentor Gran Torino where he learns full cowling. The League of Villains sends a welcome group of Nomi to Stain, Ida challenges Stain to a 1v1 where he promptly gets his ass beat. Deku and Todoroki arrive and Stain is defeated. A Nomu flies away with Deku causing Stain's heart to grow three times bigger that day as he saves Deku and is rearrested. Following that we get the origin of one for all and all for one and then on to the final exams where the students must best their own teachers. Deku and Bakugo take on All Might and are forced to work together for the first time ever. We get the first appearance of Dobby and Toga and Shigaraki pays a little visit to Deku. Season 3. On to training camp. Inner kid who hates heroes and inner league of villains who also hates heroes. Villains attack the students, Deku rescues the kid from earlier by going 1 million percent, and in the ensuing commotion Bakugo gets kidnapped. Media backlash from the incident forces UA to confront the fact they might have a mole. The search for Bakugo commences as some of the students sneak out to find him. Meanwhile the league of villains attempt to recruit Bakugo who gives them a prompt fuck you as he begins wrecking the place. All Might appears but falls short when all for One transfers Bakugo in the league to his location. All Might reappears and Deku's group gets Bakugo out of there, thus letting All Might throw down, leading to the best fight of the series so far. One United States of a smash later, All Might's secret is revealed to the world and he passes on the torch. The students then moved on to UA campus and the provisional hero license exams begin. Everyone hates UA, Toga sneaks in to muck things up, Todoroki and Bakugo fail, but hey, everyone else makes it, congrats. The League of Villains beat Overhaul, Bakugo and Deku squash their beef in the new best fight of the series, and it ends with Bakugo learning the secret of one for all. Lastly, Class 1A meets the big three and Lemillion shows them more than just their difference in power. I'm talking about his Season 4. The League of Villains tries to recruit Overhaul but fails. Deku begins working with All Might's former sidekick Nighteye who had a falling out after using his quirk to predict All Might's death. Deku and Mirio meet Overhaul and Eri. Nighteye recruits other heroes to help take down Overhaul and discuss the quirk erasing bullets. The assault on the compound begins. Sun Eater 1v3s, Kirishima and Fatcom 2v2, and Lemillion goes around fucking up everybody. We get a power point of Lemillion versus Overhaul, ending with Lemillion taking a quirk erasing bullet for Eri. Deku and Nighteye arrive, Nighteye gets impaled, and Eri chooses to believe in Deku, leading to the magnificent sky battle that is Deku and Eri versus Overhaul. After his defeat, the League of Villains pays a visit to Overhaul and removes both of his arms free of charge. We get a very sad goodbye to Night Eye, and one day care session later, Bakugo and Todoroki begin their special provisional hero license course. Grand Torino captures Kuro Giri and is introduced to Gigantamachia. After two outstanding villains and one banger song, the new top heroes are announced. Shout out to best girl Mirko. Endeavor and Hawks' dinner date is interrupted by Inomu. Endeavor goes plus ultra, solidifying his new spot as the number one hero, and the season ends with a peek at the ghosts of One for All's past. Season 5. You thought we were done with the Nomu fight? Nope. Dobby appears, but best girl Mirko saves the day. Deku sees One for All flashback. The original user forced to carry One for All by his big brother, All for One. Class versus class arc. Easily the worst arc of the show. Shinzo is competing to see if he can transfer the hero course. Tokiyami can fly. Bakugo can team play now. Deku goes Spider Man with a new Black Whip ability and told you about six more powers. Deku can't use Black Whip after fight. Bakugo and Todoroki officially get hero license. Hawks is an undercover agent, kills best genius, maybe, and gives him to Dobby. Deku, Todoroki, and Bakugo hero study with Endeavor. Hawks passes secret message to Endeavor. The Meta Liberation Army will attack in four months, prepare the children, or something like that. It sounds very Harry Potter. Todoroki family dinner time plus Deku and Bakugo. Shit gets awkward as fuck. Natsu so storms off. Endeavor prays to the shrine of a young Toya. On the way home, Endeavor and the UA kids get attacked by a villain fanboy who has Natsu so hostage. Deku uses Black Whip successfully. Shoto condenses his attacks. Bakugo condenses his attacks. Aizawa and President Mike find out Kuragiri is the childhood friend turned Nomu, which is expanded upon in My Hero Academy Vigilantes. Please read it. League of Villains arc now. We go two months back. The doctor we've seen helping all for one tells Shigaraki he'll help if he makes Gigantomachia submit. The League gets an invite to Dekia City to save their mutual associate Giren. The plan is to walk into the traps up by the Meta Liberation Army and just wait for Gigantomachia to wake up. Seems good. Evil shown in power up time. 
Toga learns to copy a person's quirk as well as their appearance. Shigaraki can now decay somebody without touching them directly. Twice learns to create infinite copies of himself just to save his friend Toga. The leader of Destro can turn stress into strength. We get a Shigaraki flashback. Shigaraki's dad hated heroes because of his mom, Nana Shimura, which is All Might's master. Shigaraki gets beaten and sits outside crying with his dog. Shigaraki's quirk then manifests. He kills his dog, sister, mom, accidentally, and his dad on purpose. And then he's found by All for One and given his new name, Shigaraki. Flash forward, he takes off the hands which his previous were, which were his family's. Thus giving Shigaraki an even greater power boost, making Redestro and the Meta Liberation Army bow down and a new group is formed. The Paranormal Liberation Front. Oh, and Gigantamaki here witnessed this as well, and he was like, yeah, okay, me too. Back to the doctor, now offers his help. For a month, Shigaraki will be out of commission, but after he will be stronger than even all for one. Aries horn hurts. Deku needs to learn to float next, like which is the quirk of All Might's master and Shigaraki's grandma. As Aizawa tells All Might his meeting with Stain will have to wait, and we're left with one tease. The major incident that will shake superhuman society will finally begin. Okay, hello, we're gonna keep the pace. Sam from Weebs Guild here. Thank you so much for watching our recap. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, let us know what you're looking forward to most, and of course, enjoy My Hero Academia season six. We will see you guys later for some more recaps and some more My Hero Academia content. Bye, everybody.